everyone, I'm Katherine Benson, and I'm here today with the incredible father and son duo, David and Joshua Kovach. For those of you who don't know, uh, David maintains an extremely versatile career as a violist. He's the director of the Symphonia Orchestra, the ETSU Chamber Orchestra, and the Symphony of the Mountains Youth Orchestra, as well as being a professor of violin and viola at ETSU and his son, rising star cellist Joshua, at age 13 has already won numerous awards, played with orchestras, and recently appeared on NPR's From the Top. So welcome, David and Joshua. Hi, Catherine, how are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for being here. So I, I, I wanna ask, what is, it, what is it like playing together as, as father and son? Because for our, our uh, Paramount Chamber Players concert, you did Beethoven's eyeglasses duo for viola and cello. What was that like? Um, it was actually the first time I performed in a concert with him, but at home we sight read many duets together sometimes. And I play in the ETSU Chamber Music Orchestra and Sinfonia that he conducts too. Oh, wow. So you've seen your dad like from many different sides. <laughs> yeah, so. it was really it was really fun. You know, it was our first sort of professional concert. We have done some things where we had a gig together or played uh, played as part of a service, or, but this was our first duet. So it was really it was really fun getting. It was kind of hectic. The school started, so we to oh. find time to get ready. But it was fun to play the duet, and you know, it's uh, it seems how you don't realize how quickly they grow up. So it was going from learning some, you know, pieces from the Suzuki books and playing those together to now playing Beethoven. And so it was really fun and I'm proud of Joshua. It was really, really cool experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, incredible. That's not, that's not the easiest duo I've heard. The, yeah. the <laughs> some, hard, some hard spots for sure. Oh, but it was, it was so beautiful. So, so is the whole family musical or is it just you two? Yeah, my mom plays piano and my sister plays violin. Oh, I play wow. a lot of things with my mom and sometimes uh, me and my sister play a couple duets too. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Have you guys ever done something uh, as, a, as a quartet? We have small things. We have played trios and little, little arrangements. Mm -hmm. uh, his sister's younger, so we're just kind of now getting into the big, big repertoire and starting to play those. And his mom plays for competitions with him, both of them. And then we played together. We, our, my last recital, my wife and I played together. So uh, we're actually now getting into the big, big repertoire, like the piano quartets and things like that. So it'll, oh, really? be, it'll be fun. Yeah, absolutely. That, I, I can't wait. Yeah, someday we'll have the, the Kovach <laughs> family debut. <laughs> so um, what, was your, what was your favorite moment in our, in our Paramount Chamber Players virtual concert? Well, it was really fun to play the Dvorak Silent Woods with you. And it was um, actually the second time I played it. Three years ago, I played it for the first time at Music at Menlo, Chamber Music Festival Institute. Mm -hmm. And it was a great experience to play it there. And it was fun to do it all over again. It felt also kind of different to play in a hall without any audience. The hall even resonated differently. Mm -hmm. But um, all in all, I think it was a really, really fun experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also, I really enjoyed playing with you, Joshua. Uh, you're you're okay. only 13, but you play already with such great sensitivity and you're so responsive, uh, especially with cues. And we had the extra challenge of the mask. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we, we learned how to do these like exaggerated gestures a little bit, but it, it came together so beautifully. Yeah, it was really fun to watch you guys play. He was nine, I think, first time when he played it in California. So Incredible. this would be about four years later. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it, I can kind of see how he's uh, sort of a different player now four years later. And it was really fun to watch you to play it. I, I think the audience was just, you know, it was wonderful to play again after so, so many months of sort of sitting at home and just playing at home. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it was just odd not having the audience there, but you know, we, we sort of tried to get into the music and enjoy, enjoy our own little 
space and music making, but you're right, I think it was with the masks on and the audience sort of not there, it was it was a little bit little bit different than usual. But for sure it was a great experience to be able to play a live performance again after a long break. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I think for many of us this was yeah, the first time we played with real people in months and months. <laughs> it was I found myself imagining like this this future audience that would be watching just trying to get into the into the mindset but yeah we were we were all in it together and i think i think it came out so beautifully and it was such a treat to play with both of you for the first time so i want to ask joshua um because you recently not only did you appear on from the top but you won the jack kent cook scholarship which is a big deal uh what did you have to do to win that uh can you talk about that a little bit uh sure so First, I applied to From the Top and applied to be a candidate for the Jack Kent Cook Scholarship. And they chose a couple people. And apart from getting the scholarship and spending it on an amazing cello they funded, it was also an amazing experience to play on From the Top. Um, those couple days in Boston with the From the Top community um, it was really fun to ex fun experience to do their community outreaches they had to schools and retirement homes and also playing on the radio in their unique halls was really, really fun experience. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so they, they, they performed at the Elizabeth Gardner Museum, which was really cool hall because you play down on the floor and then people sit up around and <clears throat> so <laughs> that's that was really really uh, fun fun and interesting experience just having the live radio experience mm -hmm. yeah wow so you you had to actually play live on the radio yeah wow that's yeah was that was that nerve-wracking yeah it was definitely <laughs> so joshua what do you just play cello all day what else do you like to do um i do competitive swimming too wow and um, I like just playing hockey outside mm -hmm. on our driveway and mm -hmm. I also sometimes play chess and solve Rubik's Cubes. Oh my goodness. So athletic, smart, musical. <laughs> I, I look forward to, to your uh, future career, whatever it may be. <laughs> yeah, they, they, made him, they made him solve Rubik's Cube on the radio. That was fun. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Do you have a do you have a, a time or a record you're always trying to beat? Yeah, it's my personal best time for the original three three by three, mm -hmm. and it's eight point seven seconds that I got a couple months ago, and I'm still trying to <laughs> beat that's, it. That's unbelievable. <laughs> eight point seven seconds. <laughs> Well, wonderful. So what do you, what do you, very lastly, what do you guys like to do as a family? Well, you know, five years ago, we moved here to Tennessee for, for my work. And uh, so we really enjoyed the hiking because we lived in New England before moving to Kansas City. And Kansas City was a wonderful place to live, but it's really kind of far to any mountains. And yeah. so we enjoy being here and being able to hike and, you know, Kind of it reminds us also of Czech Republic because there's a lot of mountains in Czech and and it's very close to go, you know, hiking and fishing and even drive down to the beach in, in the, on the east coast. So it's it's we enjoy living here and uh, playing together and trying to keep it fun because a lot of the times you know both of them Joshua and Ali play in all three orchestras now. <laughs> so all my, all my orchestra so. Mm -hmm. It gets busy and, and, but we try to keep it fun and enjoy it, but we enjoy living here. I've enjoyed playing with the Paramount players because I, my first time was five years ago when I moved here. Mm -hmm. uh, Luis was, uh, had a job in New York and so he wasn't always able to play each concert. And so Craig asked me to play, I think it was the first year. And I pretty much play with them every year, at least one concert. And so it was fun. Uh, I don't know if you met, you met George, but uh, we found out that George was 
taught by Ivan Chen, who was in the Miami Quartet when George was student. And I worked with Ivan Chen in my festival in Heartland. And Joshua was coached by Ivan Chen and music in Menlo. <laughs> so, so it was really, really some cool connections. And, you know, working with our faculty at ATSU, Rebecca Paluzzi is part of the mm -hmm. uh, group, and then Cheryl and everybody. So it's been nice. And then, of course, I played with Chi Long quite a bit and then found out that you studied with Chi Long. So it was just a really cool connection. I think Craig has done wonderful work with, over the last you know, many years to build, build up the group and mm -hmm. keep the series going. So we're excited to have you, have you uh, continue and taking the torch on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I, I do feel like I, I have big shoes to fill with everything that, that Craig Combs has done for the area and the ensemble. And I do feel so lucky because, I mean, we have wonderful musicians. We have both of you, um, we have Rebecca, we have Cheryl, we have so many brilliant chamber players in the area. And I feel like that makes my job so much easier because I, I have just so many wonderful options and lovely people to work with, so. No, it was fun. It was fun performing again and uh, we enjoyed playing with you and everybody. And even though it was without audience, I, I think we were all pretty energized to be able to <laughs> play, play some ch chamber music again. So this was, this was a fun fun treat. Hopefully we can do it with audience next time. Yes, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to, to everyone coming together in the concert hall at some point in the future. And it will feel so good uh, to finally be able to play for an audience after all this time. For sure, for sure. Mm. Well, thank you, David and Joshua. Uh, this, actually today, um, you can hear David and Joshua perform Beethoven's Eyeglass duet. Uh, Joshua and I perform Dvorak's Silent Woods, and we'll round out the concert with two pieces from Brooks Opus 83, performed by David, me, and Jessica on violin. So, see you tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 